Mike Bear with Free Speech Media, and uh, we have here with us, you can tell us your first name? Oh, my name is John Lee. John. Okay, yep. John, tell, tell us your story. What, tell us uh, how you became passionate and what you, what you want people to know about. Okay, yeah. Uh, I graduated from UFT in 1990, Bachelor of Science in Pharmacology. Uh, I noticed that uh, the government uh, quarantine or lockdown uh, the whole country, and I realized, hey, this is the this is very weird. This is the first time in medical it's history. Yeah, yeah, like like where a government or any government, healthy people, yeah, have have quarantined healthy people. Yeah. So I thought, hey, I, I the, you know, this is very bothersome. I, I have to start talking to people. Absolutely. So about four weeks ago, I, I met someone uh, south on Young Street coming to this rally. And I asked him what he thought about the coronavirus, and he said that that he thinks the virus exists, but not that lethal. So I thought, oh, people do, do not understand. They think that a virus actually exists. So I decided to... Uh, how, how is it that they've never been able to isolate the virus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, w when the lockdown started, I, I googled the coronavirus electron micrograph. And the picture that I saw was a ball with a whole bunch of spikes, and I realized, wait a minute, I, I, I studied microbiology. That's a graphic design. That's not an electron micrograph. No. So and they're, they're passing off pseudoscience and fake uh, stuff. Uh, ex exactly. Legitimate. Exactly. Then the other slides that I saw were uh, electron micrographs of a normal cell, intracellular contents like mitochondria, nucleus, Golgi apparatus, exosomes, and lysosomes. And I thought, wait a minute, yeah. that's not a virus. <laughs> Those are exosomes and lysosomes. And then I saw some uh, YouTube videos where microbiologists were saying that the exosomes and lysosomes were the viruses. And I thought, no, 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 something's like very wrong. So if what, what they say is true, then what you have to do is take those exosomes and lysosomes and you have to culture it in cell culture, replicate it, get millions and billions of those exosomes and lysosomes, the supposed viruses, and then inject it into test animals or people and then see whether it causes the same disease. It has not been done. So no one has proven that the exosomes or lysosomes are viruses. And nobody has isolated the supposed virus and uh, obtained electron micrograph pictures of them. So I thought, oh, like, something's very wrong. So uh, I kept on researching. Then I uh, came up on a German microbiologist by the name of Stefan Lanka on YouTube and BitChute. And Stefan Lanka stated, like, like this is to uh, summarize things, that uh, viruses have never been isolated or found to cause human disease. So, say, the HIV virus causing AIDS, the HIV virus has never been isolated, no electron micrograph. So Montagnier in France stated that he did isolate the HIV virus from a supposed AIDS patient. Judy Mikovits in the United States and the, the countering lab with, with Dr. Fauci stated that they isolated the HIV virus from Montagnier's lab in France. Yet, Stefan Lanka challenged them Stefan Lanka asked, okay, if you isolated it, where is the electron micrograph of the HIV virus? It does not exist. Even viral samples of the HIV virus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's continue a little later. There's too much noise, so the, uh, the microphone... Yeah, 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 Mike, you call me anytime. Like, it doesn't